Okay, so my background before playing with death was I studied film at university uh, and I went into the film industry pretty much straight away. Um, I worked as a runner, which is the classic sort of entry job where you have to do a lot of very menial tasks um, to kind of prove yourself really like if you can get a cup of coffee then hopefully you should be able to turn up on a film set. So uh, I've done that for actually only a few months. Um, I was quickly promoted to assistant director on uh, a couple of short films and then feature films. Um, and then basically that is very kind of the practical side of things. So it's very logistical. Um, you know, I had to be in charge of um, other other uh, runners. I had to make sure the actors had what they needed. Um, you know, one of the best things I worked on was The Woman in Black where I was the director's assistant. So um, I had to help James with uh, prep meeting boards, um, you know, liaise with Daniel Radcliffe about things, which is great. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe is a super great guy. Um, you know, he borrowed some DVDs of mine, which is, you know, quite surreal. Um, and, uh, you know, reading over script notes, attending meetings, um, having a little bit of creative input because um, I had to watch a lot of horror films to, to, to help uh, James with a big scare bible of how to set up certain shots. So it was really that kind of um, role that allowed me to kind of get really serious about the creative side of it. My background is film and TV, so I've done a lot of uh, script coverage, which basically means reading scripts for production companies, writing out outlines. Um, I also shopped around some of my own spec screenplays that I wrote to producers and things. And again, I'm, you know, unfortunately, there's a familiar theme here where, um, again, they were all exciting projects and attracted interest but uh, didn't achieve serious funding which again is very frustrating as a writer because um, you want your work to to kind of have life breathe into it and really the novel is the best way to do that because it's really you the pen and the page so that's one of the great things about being a novelist.